Hi, and welcome to Gardening Time. Today we are going to be opening up our uh, honey beehive, and we're going to be collecting a few honeybees in a jar with some powdered sugar. And you're probably asking why. And the reason we're doing this is because we are going to be doing a Vero mite check. Vero mites are a um, pest that honeybees get. And if you don't keep check on them, they can wreak havoc on your hives. So um, this is a relatively new hive. Um, we got this hive in the spring, but um, from what we have been learning about the bee, honeybees, um, we should be doing a check on them around this time to uh, see uh, if they have mites on them, and if they do have mites on them, um, how bad uh, the infest infestation is. So then we can know how we need to proceed from there. So we've got uh, the jar ready here. Um, the one here that you see with the white stuff at the bottom and a screened top lid, that is the one that we are going to be putting um, roughly around 100 bees in, in there. Um, we're not going to sit there and count the bees, but um, we have an idea of about how many um, it should look like when you have around that mount. So we're going to put them, get them in the jar, and once they're in there, we're going to shake the jar so that the powder sugar coats them. And um, the powder sugar helps to loosen the mites, and the mites will fall off the bees. The bees will also, as they're cleaning themselves, they also will knock some of them off as well. So um, you, once this is, procedure is done, you can release the bees. They're fine. They're, you know, they just have, might have some powdered sugar on them, which is no big deal. They'll, they'll finish cleaning themselves off and be perfectly normal. So this does not harm, this method does not harm the bees at all. Um, and then what you'll do is with the remaining powder sugar that you have left in the jar, you'll take that, put that in some water, and the, if there are any mites, they will float to the top of the water and you'll be able to count um, about how many mites there are. And this will give you a rough estimate of um, how many mites are infecting your hive and then based on that count um, you can decide what, what uh, you need to do further. All right, so Bob, are we ready to start? Yes, we are. All right, we are going to go ahead and get started. So this is the first time we've ever done uh, well, obviously, because it's we're we're brand new, basically, to honey uh, beekeeping. So this is the first time that we've actually performed this test. Mm -hmm. oh, there's quite a few of them on the lid. Yeah, just looking for the queen. Make sure she's not up here. They have been busy. Wow. They have been drawing out all frames up here. So how long um, do you think it's been since This we has put been about a month since we put this uh, second deep on. Cool. And they are just rocking. Try to get out a little bit closer. Let's just pull out a couple frames here and see what we got. Okay. Wow. Not too bad. Look at That's not bad right there. Mm -mm. That looks pretty good. Oh. 
Look at that. They got they're putting nectar in there. Looks good. Let's see. They are drawing these out really, really nice. Lots of nectar. Wow, this one is quite heavy. Whoa, tons of nectar in this one. Wow. Let's see if I can stand kind of next to you. See what you're seeing. Some pollen in there. Wow, they are doing fantastic. Wow. Another frame. Okay. Here. We got some nectar, we got, I don't see any eggs in this yet. I do see some, oh, wait a minute. Got some larvae in there. All right. And a little bit of cat brood. Yeah, some more lar larvae. Look at all that cat brood that we got. Wow. wow, very good. Girls are doing excellent. Mm-hmm, they are. All right, well, let's get some smoke on here. Okay. Gotta get some. Another nice heavy frame. Look at that. Lots well, of nectar yeah. in there. Awesome. Just a little bit of cap honey. They're starting to cap some honey up top. Oh, that's wonderful. Wow. We are just rocking here. Yep, we got some cap honey up top. Oh, good. Look at all that nectar. Yeah. I want to look some larvae down there. I don't see the queen up here yet. Nope. They are just doing fantastic. Yep. Very happy. I can't believe how fast they've drawn this second deep up. I know. In just two weeks time. Yeah. More, oh, more cap tiny. Yeah. Wow, you guys are just building up all kinds of stores here. It's good. I like it. Mm-hmm. Man. Well, they are just more cap tiny, more nectar, some more brood. Guys, they're doing just great. Wow, these are. Oops, my guys move. Okay, some more now. Let's see, what do we got here? Yeah, the queen was here. I got some eggs. Cool. Wow, that's eggs, so she must be around here close. These are all just been done last day or so. They are up straight up. Are just doing phenomenal. Yeah. 
Man, I can't believe how many there are. They have, they have been busy, yeah. busy, busy, busy. Hey guys, out the way, out the way. What do we got going on here? These. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got some straight comb. Wow. No. They are just. Thank goodness. I am just tickled to death on this. Wow. No. They have really been busy. Yes, they have. Yeah. Oops, I guess. Don't drop that. Nope. <laughs> you got me. Uh-oh, you got stung? Yeah, you got me. Oh. Didn't have my finger cleared. Right. That's all right. All right. Oh. No bunny on that one. Okay. Let me go get that stinger out so it's not, don't keep. <laughs> gonna go and check out these last two frames here real quick okay. still looking for the queen okay. tons of nectar wowzers okay I'm a thinking Take this last frame out here. Oh, don't. Some big drones. Really big drones. So, I'm so glad they got this drone all the way out to the outside wall. That's good. Yeah. Lots of drones. Oh, okay. Look, they're all even on the outside wall. Yeah. Oh, they are just going to town. All okay. right. So, no queen up here right now. Nope. So I'm gonna push these guys all back together. Then we're gonna go into the bottom. Okay. And we're gonna do our bite test. We are good here. All right. You know, something just ain't right here. These are not sitting down just quite right. There we go. Okay. This definitely got heavier than uh, <laughs> than the last time. Looky there. Look at that. They are just doing fantastic. All right, guys, get down. Holy cow. Yeah. So all I can say is, wow, they got, Come over here. they are just doing phenomenal. Okay. Still drawing this out. All right. Still no queen yet. I don't expect to see her over here. 
I was told to draw this out. Okay. Our green drone comb is just doing. Whoa, that thing is, is full. So it is. this is probably going to get taken out today. Now, what is the drone cone for again? The drone comb is going to. I'm doing using the green drone comb for mite control. Okay. Because the varroa mites like to lay their eggs in the in the drone cells. Okay. Because they have a longer in, longer uh, incubation period or period before you know, they emerge. Before they emerge, so they like their cells better. So these will attract the mites to go in here. Then you take this out. Oh, and, they're dripping! Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> and. Uh, and you freeze it, and what it'll do is it'll kill the drone, you know, larvae, but right. the, the mites that are in there as well. Okay. So I'm going to leave this out for now. Okay. Because I think we're going to swap that out and put a another one in there. Okay. So they can start working on that. Now. Come on, guys. Let's get you around. Oh. Okay. Hmm, what do we got here? We got some nice brew going. Uh -huh. Very nice. I don't see no queen. I'm trying to find the queen, so. Okay. If we do our mite test, I do not want her to get caught up in the mite test. I would expect, I thought I would have seen her up above. I've already got a lot of drone comb down here. Still don't see her. Uh-uh. Oh. Small good brood. Where is my queen? Oh, there she is. Got her? See her? Oh, yeah. Right in front of you. Oh, let me see. Yeah. Right there. She is right there. Okay. Okay. So she's on this ring. So I think what we'll do, I'm going to put you back in. Make sure where she's at. Don't want her on the sides. Nope. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Okay. So. Got the queen. Got the queen. She's on this frame. Okay. Good deal. Good. So, now, I think I'm going to take the next frame, and we're going to do our mite test off of this one. This one should have some cat brood on it. Yeah, I think we're going to use this. Do you want me to hand you the jar? If you don't mind, if you want to hold this, you can. Okay. Just hold it like that. Okay. 
Just, there's no bee up. There's no bee up there. Like okay, that. just like this. Yeah, just hold it like that. Let me get. Okay. The, where's the jar? It's on my side. Yeah. All right. So what we're gonna do? I got it. Yeah. You got it? Yep. Got it. Do you want me to let go? Yeah. Okay. So. Hold that. Hold this. Got it? Yes. Okay. Now we're gonna go and Okay. I'm gonna put this back down for okay. a second. Got it? Okay. We are gonna go here. Nice. Put you inside. And I'm gonna scoot you guys all back over. Now we're gonna do Mic test here. We're gonna. It's quite a few bees. Sorry, girls. It's gotta be done. So you just tap in the jar just gently? Just tapping it. Just tap in the jar gently. This should loosen off any other. Okay. Now I'm gonna go over to the plate. Boy, they didn't like that at all. The mite test? No. Okay. No, they did not. All right. Well, I got a gap issue here but Whoops. I don't think I'm gonna to worry too much about it okay I'm just trying to get my frames lined up all right sorry guys about the laps there um, my card uh, got full and so I had to go in the house and exchange uh, memory cards out on my camera so um, so what did you do there, Bobby? You just dumped the powdered yeah, sugar. Yeah, when I got done, when I got done, you know, rolling them around in there, I just uh, you you dumped them on. Just dumped them back into the hive, and there was some powdered sugar that was in there. They'll clean this all up. Oh, okay. So I'm just getting rid of some of this stray comb right now, and then okay, put it all back together. Gotcha. And oh, you can see some of the um, if I can get in here. The albinos. Close, the albino. They are bees. not very happy. Yeah. But you can see there are some bees here on the side that have that are coated with the powdered sugar still. So, okay. well, but they will clean that off. Yep, I'm gonna go and okay. put this all back together. All right. And I think we are in. They are just doing phenomenal. Now, what are you gonna do with oh, that drone cone? I gotta shake that off, and oh. I put a new one in. Cause they got, got this one just filled. Well, got a lot of larvae in there. But they got quite a bit capped in here. So I think I'm going to, uh, what do you think? It's pretty, it's, it's all drawn out. Right. There's, there's larvae in there. There's, yeah. There's quite a, quite a bit of larvae actually, shoot. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna just go with it. Okay. So I gotta shake these guys off. Okay. Yay. I should probably get my brush. Yeah, but I'd put it back on the frame there. Oh, it's your brush is over there. Yeah, yeah. my brush is over there. I, I think I'm gonna get on the back side of this when you do yeah, that. Yeah, that'd probably be wise. I don't want them coming after me, even though I'm suited up. So, so far what I can tell is we only had a couple mites, I mean, from what I can see. Oh, okay, well that's cool. So, not bad.
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you guys don't like that. I know. Mm, I they know. do not. I know. I know. It's that. So we'll put this in the freezer and yep. you put it in there for how long? A couple of days. A couple of days. And then what that does is the larvae, it kills the larvae um, as well as the mites. And then you'll just put that drone cone, um, whenever you're ready to use it again, you just put that back into a deep and they will clean out all those cells. Um, clean them all out and you know the, the wax is um, is all there so then all they'll have to do is basically um, put new drone larvae in there and the process starts all over again do you see the front of the hive Nope, I have not seen the front of the hive. I don't think you want to see the front of the hive. Alright, I will walk back around to the front. Um, let's see what we got over here. Oh my goodness, wow. Yeah, yeah I think we're going to leave them alone for a while. Yeah, you want to smoke them? <laughs> nope. Nope. They'll be fine. <laughs> All right, so let's come over here and take a look at this stuff. So, let's see here. Yeah, oh. I, gotta take, I gotta take this off. Okay. Um, so where are the mites? Are those? All right. I think I might see if I can take this off. On I don't, know, I don't think I see much of anything. I thought. Did you see? I see a few Excuse things. Me, Anna. All right, I'm going to turn autofocus on. Let's see if I can zoom in. Oh, well, we got some pollen, and I don't even see any mites. I mean, I see a few little things floating on the top, but. Maybe that's not mites. I know. Huh. I think we might be alright. Okay, so we're not seeing any mites in the water. So that's all the cap larvae, drone larvae. And on this side, you got some more cap and you got some all larvae right there that still is not quite capped yet. Yep. Alright guys, well that's going to wrap it up for today. Hope you guys are having a wonderful uh, day and we will catch you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.